G'day, Kevin Hillier and Steve Tom looking back on round 11 of the Western Region Footy League. Tomsy, uh, just business as usual for Deer Park? Yeah, it was another uh, good win, but a, a close, uh, a, I'll say a close small margin for Werribee to go down by. And uh, I think they've shown Werribee districts that they're getting better and closer to the uh, top uh, top ranked Deer Park as it, as it goes. And a bit of a shootout up forward. The two uh, full forwards, Panai for Werribee Districts and uh, Wong. One got eight, one, and the other one got seven. Yeah, two different players. I think uh, Wong's so good, you know, as, as a goal kicker, but he can play higher up the ground uh, with Panai just inside that 50. Uh, eight, one he kicked today too, which is, it just shows he's a sensational player and he's one of the keys to that Werribee District side. Good to see St Albans bounce back with a big win and uh, our little mate uh, and uh, Barry Priest medalist Timmy Jenkins starring. I was going to say, it's been a while. He's been well held the last couple of weeks. I know he's well held against Deer Park last week, but uh, it wasn't going to be long before he bounced back with a BAG and today's, uh, by all reports, he was sensational. Spotty had a big win uh, and uh, good uh, good power for them up forward. Uh, Chicken Elliot and uh, and Cloakie uh, each got five. He's having a good year, uh, Christian Elliot. Um, you know we know Cloakie's ability inside that fifty, but Christian Elliot. I mean, we know he's on Footscray's list, but he uh, the versatility of him playing uh, up forward, but uh, up up through that midfield. But when he does play forward, I think there's been four or five games where he's kicked five goals plus. Now, apparently, uh, uh, Jason Love had a bit of an honesty session with the Port Melbourne Colts players uh, after their big loss last week. They bounced back, surprisingly. Yeah, <laughs> if surprisingly. I was going to say, if they had any brains, lucky they did, because uh, not Lovey would have uh, ripped shreds off them last week, but they would have been shattered the uh, scoreline that spots would lost. So to bounce back today, you know, the rest of the season, there's a lot to gain for Port Colts and that win against Yarraville today. It's just started the ball rolling for him again. And uh, Hoppers Crossing and Sunshine uh, battled for fifth spot. Uh, Hoppers took the points. Uh, I I'm counting Sunshine out. I've, I've, I've put the thrown the white flag in and said, no, they're done. Oh, look, I think you might be right, Kev. I think today was the crunch game. I mean, uh, if they, if, bottom line, Sunshine is still mathematically can get in there, no doubt, but they're going to have to now beat a, a Deer Park or a Werribee probably both from a couple of sides that, on top of them that are sitting in the top three. Uh, otherwise, they don't deserve to. At this stage of the year, they don't deserve to be in there. They really have to turn things around desperately. Hoppers Crossing, I think we said that a few weeks ago with that loss against Steer Park, that they turned the corner. They're, they, they are a great young side, and uh, at the moment, uh, they look like they will be playing finals. Highlights of uh, Division 2, um, uh, our match of the day uh, was uh, the Glen Orden Windervale Cash. A uh, good, good game, good gutsy game in really hard conditions. Glen Orden really are uh, sailing along at the minute. They were, look, tough conditions as all the games were today, you know, with the wind and, and the, the chill factor all over all over Melbourne. But um, I think that last quarter, Glen Orden showed when uh, they got the chance to run, their leg speed is sensational. Uh, they open up the game. And today they showed in that last quarter just what they can do. They are the genuine top side, Glen Orden. Got some terrific games coming up in round 12. That's our wrap of round of 11. Yep. We'll uh, see you again soon on the Western Region Footy League.